Secretary for Development Bernadette Lynn announced the government's 2023-24 to land sale programme. Twelve residential sites are on the list. Two are on Hong Kong Island, two in Kowloon and eight in the New Territories. They will provide about 9,120 flats. Three railway property development projects can supply around 4,530 units. Meanwhile, the Urban Renewal Authority, or URA, plans to take forward three projects in Kowloon, which will provide about 2,200 flats. Taking into consideration the estimated land supply from government land sales, MTR Corporation and URA projects, as well as private development redevelopment projects, the private housing land supply in 2023-24 to will yield an estimated 20,550 units. We cannot guarantee that all the sites on the land sale programme will be rolled out in the coming financial year. We have always stressed that by having the sites included in the land sale programme, it signifies government's intention to get ready those sites for disposal when we are ready to do so. But whether they will actually will be disposed will also depend on the supply from the other sources, like uh, the sources from the redevelopment, because uh, we count all sources together to ensure a balanced and healthy supply. Ms Lin added that a site in Chun Wan has been identified for the Starter Homes for Hong Kong Residents project, capable of providing about 1,950 flats and is scheduled for disposal in the first quarter of 2023-24, to that is April to June this year. While Tung Chung Area 106A has been identified for the Youth Hostel Scheme. In the same quarter, the government will put up for tender two residential sites in Chun Wan and Kennedy Town that can provide some 2,400 flats. Taking into account the land supply of about 360 flats from five private development redevelopment projects, private housing land supply in the same period is estimated to be able to produce about 2,760 flats.